rest don't come true. No rest don't come true. Make and announce this policy passing through Parliament pounds. It got stuck on Muckety Syndrome. Like a two cat versus mouse. Corruption got public. The media loved it. Said sick was really pleased to be here today um, at the launch of the nuclear freeways campaign. Um, I think it's going to be a really important campaign. It's going to provide information and public awareness to hundreds of thousands of Australians who live on the route uh, that will be taken to transport nuclear waste to the proposed inland waste dump. And these people come from diverse communities. They come from large urban local government areas. Um, they come from small rural farming communities, farming communities and they come from remote settlements like Muckety itself. Uh, but I think despite their diversity, they'll all be united in one thing, and in that they share with the vast majority of Australian people their uh, opposition to, nuclear, to the nuclear industry and to Australia's role in it. And can I just say what a shame it is that here in this electorate, where again the vast majority of people are completely opposed to uh, Australia's role in the nuclear uh, industry, the local member is doing everything he can to reinforce that industry within Australia. I was here on Monday uh, when the TOs, the traditional owners uh, from the Muckley Lands arrived and Ferguson, uh, Ferguson's staff would not even open the door to those people. Um, I think it's just an extraordinary uh, sort of derogation of their responsibility as a party which is nominally committed to community consultation and to democratic processes to shut the door on people whose lives you are going to transform. I think the issues today are very confronting issues and when we're looking at nuclear waste dumps um, on Aboriginal land, uh, this is really a reinvention and it's shame on the Labor government to, to really step back in history, to take a retarded step, uh, to take a retrograde step, both politically, socially and economically in this country. And uh, this is what concerns us. With the Northern Territory intervention, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a dive back into the pre-1950s with its, with its apartheid systems, its race discrimination systems, and its systems of, of, um, of genocide against Aboriginal people in the Northern Territory. This issue of uh, nuclear waste dump, particularly at the, near the Muckety Aboriginal communities in the Northern Territory, is equally genocidal. We know that this is going to bring enormous destruction. We know that radioactivity will bring death. We know that Aboriginal people have been subjected back in the 1930s and 40s to nuclear waste disposable and uh, experimentation by the British back in the central desert parts of Australia and that there have been Aboriginal people that have died in those, in those um, territories and areas. And we have people today in West Australia who have been subjected to the same type of genocidal acts um, with radioactive materials. So we really need to um, listen to that. We really do not want to revisit it. And I think that we've got very strong um, statements to make today about removing the muck out of muckety. Remove the nuclear waste muck out of muckety. Hey everyone, it's so lovely to be here today. It's so lovely to see this uh, trip about to happen. I'm very excited about it because we saw it happening when it was going to happen uh, out at Cooper Pedy and it didn't happen out at Cooper Pedy. We're going to see it happening to bring, bring highlight the, um, the threats against muckety. It's not going to happen there either. This is no way that this is going to happen. But you know, all kudos to Friends of the Earth, as always for getting this together and getting out on the road and getting into the towns and talking to the people, like getting out of the ghetto, which we're often accused of being in, and getting on the road, getting in there, sitting down with people and sitting down with communities, going into schoolrooms, which is what they'll be doing as well, and actually getting this story out, because it's a hidden story. The nuclear story in this country is a hidden story, and it's a sad story, and it's got to stop. One point I wanted to just add before Dave comes up to speak is that when we understand nuclear transport, we understand that there could be a dump at so many sites. If an accident was to occur, we'd be looking at really long-term implications in areas that aren't prepared, uh, that never agreed, like Muckety traditional owners. 
Um, but with that also comes much more resistance and that's what this tour really hopes to bring. We really hope to sit down and talk with communities along the transport route and even from the initial consultations that we've been running, people are concerned, people want to know more about this issue. It's a very uh, uh, historic day I reckon because it's the launch of a campaign that's going to go literally take participatory democracy, community action and involvement and turn it into kilometres on the speedo. It's going to turn an idea into meeting people in country towns, schools, local government, all along from Sydney to Muckety, 3,600 kilometres. A lot of kilometres, a lot of communities, a lot of schools over which material, if Martin Ferguson gets his way, his way by the way, despite ALP policy, which is quite reasonable. ALP policy is quite reasonable. Every action taken by Minister Ferguson on this issue has been profoundly unreasonable. He has been immature, he has been improper, and he has been unreasonable. And it will not work. It didn't work under a decade of the Howard government, and it won't work under the Labor government. Because people are past having a long-lived carcinogenic, mutagenic, tetragenic, carcinogen put on their country without their consent. It is the 21st century. It is singularly inappropriate and completely unacceptable to start a national radioactive waste management strategy on the basis of commercial and confidence documents, on the basis of a contested nomination, on the basis of a secret backroom deal yeah. that the people who own the country have not been privy to. Yeah. If the waste dump goes ahead, in the first year alone, over 130 semi-trailers. Not a neat prop by a group with a profound commitment to non-violence and respect for the future and the people and the planet. 130 plus semi-trailers in the first year alone, barrelling down the railroads, barrelling down our highways. And hope that a kid in a bike doesn't ride in front, hope that a driver doesn't get sleepy, hope that a tyre doesn't blow. Yeah. Hope that they have upgraded with that national road reconstruction effort, that wonky bridge in the Riverina. That's a lot of hope for material that lasts a long time. And it is an unacceptable and growing burden, and it, it is a growing issue. When Labor came to power, they promised to repeal Howard government laws. They promised a new process. They promised a better process. They promised community inclusion and consent, best process and best science. All reasonable stuff. They have delivered, under the steerage of Minister Martin Ferguson, not one part of that. This is a failed policy based on a bad process based on a broken promise. And Labor started its first term in office with great hopes from all of us in the Australian community by saying sorry to a grave structural injustice to the First Nations people of this country. Yeah. Now Labor should not end their first term in office and Minister Ferguson should not end his first term in office by making an act which is a breach of policy, a breach of promise and which is a profound Disrespect to the Aboriginal people of this country. Uranium Busters! There's something strange in the neighbourhood. Who you gonna call? Uranium Busters! I'm Fred Norm, Minister. You see him things. Uranium Busters! Uranium Busters! Don't waste our country.